In this video, you're going to learn how to download and install Wall Edit for Minecraft 1.19.1 and also how to fix any issues you might have along the way. Let's get started with the tutorial. And just before we get started with the step-by-step -step tutorial, let me tell you real quick about Minecraft Apex Hosting. The thing about Minecraft Apex Hosting, even though they have amazing advantages and you could access a server console through your phone, you could be outside of your house, access a server console, change the settings, OP people, you could do Java, Bedrock, Forge Fabric, any type of server really. But the amazing thing right now, it's that they have 25% off for those that sign up using the link in the description. If you sign up right now with the first link in the description, you get 25% off your first Minecraft server with Apex Hosting. So I'm going to leave that link in the description for those of you that want to take advantage of the deal. And now let's get started with the tutorial. Well, step number one is to download the world edit model. Obviously, that's what we're here for, right? So if you click in the second link in the description right now, it will bring you to a written guide on how to download and install world edit. And here's the amazing thing about our written guide is that you could install it for Forge or Fabric, no matter which one you choose. And we have a screenshot for both of them, just in case that you want to install it for Fabric or Forge. In this tutorial, we're going to be using Forge. However, in the written guide, you could see the fabric installation, which is pretty similar. Anyways, once you click on that second link, we'll bring you over here. You're going to scroll down until you find this green button that says download world edit here, the Curse Forge edition, right? So we're going to click in here, which is going to bring you to Curse Forge because the other link, the other button is for the pre versions, like when the official is not out yet. But luckily, we do have the official version for 1.19.1 for world edit already out. So once you click on that green button, it brings you over here. You're going to scroll down until you see 1.19.1. 19.1 as you can see right here we'll edit forge fabric because it works for both and as you can see this is the most recent one is four days ago it was updated four days ago so what we're going to do is click download file once we click on download file that is going to redirect us over here where we're going to wait five seconds and in five seconds the download will start automatically in my case it's going to ask me where i want to save it but for you it's probably going to download straight ahead because you probably don't have that set up the way i have anyways once we download world mod we're going to drop it into well world edit mod right we're going to drop it into the desktop go ahead and drag and drop it into the desktop and now we need to have a modded minecraft right we we cannot just add world edit to vanilla minecraft so we either need to have forge or fabric now even though we're going to be using forge i'm going to go ahead and link the fabric in the description it's going to be after all the links you're also going to have the fabric guide we also have a video on that and we have a written guide if you want to install fabric but yeah we're going to be using forge for this so go ahead and click on that third link in the description which will bring you to our written guide on forge on how to install download and install forge it's pretty simple and i'm going to show you how to in this video go ahead and click on this button that says download Forge here, which is going to redirect you to this website where you're not going to click installer, right? Usually we click installer, but as you can see, we have 1.19 and we want 1.19.1. So what you're going to do is look for it here in the left. And as you can see, we have 1.19.1 right here. Go ahead and click on that. That is going to bring you over here where we're finally going to click installer. That is going to redirect you over here. We're in five seconds, another wait of five seconds. I know in five seconds, we're going to have a button label as a skip here in the top right. Just wait five seconds. And as you can see, that button shows. Go ahead and click on skip and that is going to start the download again it always asks me where i want to save it and for you it's probably going to download immediately anyways once forge 1.19.1 has finished downloading or the installer we're going to drop it into the desktop right next to world edit if you don't know where to find these files they're probably in your downloads folder in your computer so go ahead and drop this file into the desktop okay but what's next okay ideally we could already start installing stuff we could install forge and then drop the world edit but the thing is that any minecraft above 1.16.5 will require you to update java in your computer have you ever had any trouble trying to install modern minecraft and it keeps crashing well that is probably because you haven't updated java so we need to update java how do we know what java version we have go ahead and click where it says type here to search and type auto remove programs and when that shows up go ahead and click on it and in here you're going to click search this list where you're going to type java go ahead and type java oops i don't know how to spell and as you can see i have the newest java available which is the 18th my chances are you're going to have java 7 java 8 or maybe even java 17 now java 17 does work with modern minecraft but the thing is that some mods will require you to have java 18th and some other mods will require you to have java 17th it's pretty weird but i don't make the rules i just make tutorials so what we're going to do is get rid of java 18th and we're going to install java 18th from scratch just so you guys can see how to do it because chances are you're not going to have java 18th as so you can see i went ahead and got rid of any java on my computer so now we're ready to install java from scratch anyways go ahead and click on the fourth link i believe it's the fourth link i mean this is still going to be labeled in the description go ahead and click on the link that says java or probably the fourth link which is going to bring you over here which is our written guide of course on how to install java I know some of you prefer to see the video, but some other people like to see the guides and use the screenshots as a reference. So that is there for those of you that like that. Go ahead and click on the button that says download Java here once you come to our written guide. And in here, you're going to scroll down and select Java, I think. Then you're going to select Windows. Obviously, I'm assuming you're installing it for Windows, but if you have Mac or Linux, go ahead and use the other ones. In here, you're going to select the x64 installer and you're going to click on this blue line, which is going to start the download automatically. In my case, it asks me, you already know, but for you, it's probably going to download it straight up. And then once that finishes downloading, 
downloading, as you can see right here, we're going to drop it into our desktop. Okay, so now we have the Java installer, we have the Forge installer, and we have World Edit. Can we start? Oh, yes, we could start installing stuff, but here's what's going to happen. You're going to install the Java I think, and once you try to install Forge, you're probably going to have a jar file issue. That is because when we update Java, we need to update the jar files because not 100% of the time they get updated automatically. They should, but they don't. So how do you fix that issue in case you have it? Well, we have a guide on how to run a jar fix. Running a jar fix is pretty simple. Pretty much you download it here using this button, then you double click and run it. And yeah, we have a guide here with the screenshots for those of you that have that issue, you will know how to fix it by reading this guide. But anyways, we're going to skip that step because that is just for those of you that have the issue. Once we know that, we could go ahead and close out from all the browsers and we could start working. We could start installing stuff. First thing you want to do, double click JDK 18. Go ahead and double click on it. Once you double click on JDK 18, the installer will open. First, it's going to prompt you with administrator sign. Go ahead and allow it. And then you will get this little thing in here, which is the installer. Go ahead and click next and next. And now we're going to wait for Java 18 to install. Maybe it shows Java 17. That's totally fine. And I hope it works with World Edit. I haven't tried it myself, but I probably will. Anyways, once Java 18 has finished installing, go ahead and click close and you could delete the installer. We don't need it anymore. Now we could pretty much start working on getting Forge to the NAT World Edit. Make sure that before you double click on Forge 1.19.1 installer, you have run Minecraft 1.19.1 vanilla on your computer at least once and that you completely close out from the game and you close the launcher. Once you're done doing that, you could then go ahead and double click the Forge 1.19.1 installer. Go ahead and double click on that. That is going to open the installer for Forge. Pretty simple installer, pretty straightforward. All you have to do is select install client and then click OK. That is going to start installing Forge which would be a pretty simple and fast process. Just to let you know, in case that the Forge installer didn't work, that is probably because you didn't run the jar fix. So if you install Java and you don't run the jar fix and you have some issues with these little icons in here, they're not opening or they're opening an Internet Explorer or like they look like a book, they look like a little book or they look like a little folder. That is because you need to run the jar fix. Anyways, once Forge has installed, go ahead and click on OK. And then we could even delete the installer now and this little thing appear that appears when you install Forge. Now we're ready to add the world edit mod into Forge. So how do we do that? Go ahead and open your Minecraft launcher. And once the Minecraft launcher has opened, if you install Forge properly, you should have Forge automatically selected here in the bottom left. As you can see, we have Forge 1.19.1 automatically selected. In case it doesn't show it there, go ahead and click where it says installations and make sure that modded is selected because if modded is not selected, you're not going to see it here. And if that doesn't fix it for you, go ahead and click where it says new installation. We can name this whatever we want. And then where it says version, we're going to click on this little arrow and we're going to select Forge 1.19.1. As you can see, we have Forge release 1.19.1. Go ahead and click on that and then click create here in the bottom right. And that is going to create an instance of Forge just in case it didn't come up automatically for you. Anyways, the main thing in here, once we open the Minecraft launcher, is to click where it says installations, find Forge 1.19.1, and hover over until you see this little folder. Go ahead and click on that little folder, which is going to open a bigger folder, which we're going to make smaller, and we're going to minimize the background launcher, right? So we're going to get this big folder once we open it through Forge, the little folder in the launcher, and we're going to look for another folder called mods, M-O-D-S. As you can see, we have it right here, but I'm going to assume when you come to the Forge folder, you don't have that mods folder. I went ahead and deleted it. Let's say that you come over here, you don't have a Forge folder, a mods folder. What do you do? Simple. Just click, right click, click new and click folder and then type MODS, name it mods. That's it. You created the mods folder yourself. No problem. And now we drag and drop the jar files for wall edit inside. There we go. We now have world edit in Minecraft in Forge. Let's go ahead and test it out. Let's go ahead and launch the game and see if it's working. Let's go ahead and go back to the Minecraft launcher and click play on Forge 1.19.1. And once the game has opened, as you can see, we already have the mods option in here. And as you can see, it says three mods loaded. That is because when we click here in mods, we can see that world edit is working. It's installed. We could go ahead and create a new world. I'm going to create a new world and we're going to test world edit, even though I have no idea how to use it. Let's go ahead and wait for this to work. And as you can see, once we're in game, if we press T and we press that, the command, we can see that we have brush and all those settings. Honestly, I don't know how to use world edit. So I hope that you guys do know how to use it because yeah, that is here. We have installed it successfully and we can now use world edit to make crazy creation and do it all the things that you could do. There's tons of tutorials out there on how to use world edit. Maybe in the future we'll have one. Who knows? Anyways, that is how to install world edit 1.19.1. I hope this video helped you. And if it did, leave a like and a comment. And as always, bye bye.